Hey guys, it's Andrea from the blog Pine and Prospect Home and I have a fun video planned for you today. I just went and picked up flowers for all of my window boxes for the front of our home, the ones that my husband built. So I thought I would just take you guys along and show you what I picked out and what I'm going to plant in there for this season. It's always a little bit different every year, but I usually stick to the same color palette. It's my my kitty crying because she wants to go outside. It is a beautiful day here. It's 71 degrees, which is so gorgeous for us here in Michigan. I was outside all day yesterday painting my shed and I can't wait to show you guys how beautiful the carriage doors look. Oh my goodness. It's, it's just so pretty. <laughs> so anyways, let's go plant some flowers in our boxes. I have to scrape them first and paint them because um, they're kind of in rough shape right now, but hopefully we can get them looking clean and fresh. All right, so let me show you what I picked out here first. So bright and sunny today. Okay, this is Elysium, and it's like a really pretty purple variety. And then I got some of the same uh, flower in white, so that'll be really pretty. Got some pretty petunias that are like a dark purple in the center and then a lighter purple on the outside. And then this is some, some of the same stuff I got last year. It is so pretty. Let me see if I can show you what it's called. Let's see here. Diamond Frost. And it's just so whimsical to me. I just love, love this stuff. It's so pretty. Um, I also got, let's see what this is. Laguna Sky Blue is what this pretty little blue flower is called. And I think that's it. Then I got this little hanging basket as well. And I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this yet. I might even clip the um, hanger off and put it in a planter for my porch. I just thought it was really pretty. So I'm gonna get these boxes cleaned up first. You can see they are kind of chippy. Oh, and Check out my shutters. How pretty did these turn out? Oh my goodness, let me let me show you a close up. So this is unbelievable. I ordered these from Amazon, you guys. They are vinyl, they're plastic. And it was like $13 for a set. So I got two sets and look how real. I mean, they look like metal, don't they? They are so pretty. And I ended up going with the lighter blue variety which the sun is kind of blaring down on the color right now so you can't really get a true idea of of what the color looks like but I really like it I think it's really soft and and pretty but yeah here's what the box situation is like right now so gotta chip all this up or scrape it all up <laughs> and then put a fresh coat on before I start planting the flowers but I'm excited I'm so excited Look how pretty this creeping flocks is looking right now. That's so pretty. We divided that one and put some of it in the back gardens and <laughs> it's looking a little sad. I mean, we, we literally took a shovel to it and cut it in half. So <laughs> this part is looking a little bit yellow, but I'm sure it'll come back strong next year. All right, let's get started. Holy cow, you guys, it is so hot. <laughs> oh my word, I am like whew, sweating. But I think these boxes are gonna dry pretty quickly because of the heat. So I'm gonna let those dry and while those dry, I am going to play around with my flowers and see sort of where I'm gonna place everything. All right, guys. So this is sort of what I'm thinking, but I'm gonna put it in the flower box and kind of play with it.
All right, so before I actually plant anything, I'm just gonna step back, take a look at it. It's looking a little bit crammed, like I probably overbought. You have to remember that this stuff grows up and fills out a lot. I mean, mid-July, August, this thing will be overflowing. I know it looks a little pathetic right now, so you do have to leave some room for growth, um, as tempted as I am to just <laughs> cram it <laughs> to the brim. So I'm just gonna start planning and get a feel for the box and just see just see how much room I have to work with um, and we'll go from there. So if you've never planted flowers before, one of the things that I like to do is just kind of crunch the bottom of the container to loosen it up. Ah, don't want to step in anything. And then I'll just tip it up upside down. It comes right off. And then before I put my plant in, I just want to break up the roots a little bit. Just a little. And I'm going to set this one right on the edge here. All right, so that's one box done, and believe me, I know it looks a little bit, <laughs> a little bit wimpy right now, a little bit pathetic, kind of scraggly looking. <laughs> These will fill out and look so beautiful come late June, July. So that's what it's looking like right now. A little bit low, <laughs> but they will fill out, and I did end up leaving out a few. So. I might just plant these somewhere else, the white one and another purple one. So I'll probably have those left over on this side as well. Maybe I can do something fun with those, plant them in another container. All right, so we've got one down. The further back you are, the more <laughs> kind of sad it looks, but like I said, it'll fill out real nice. So one, one more to go. And it's always important to water right after you plant too. But I think it's looking real pretty. Oh my goodness, you guys. So I'm in the middle of planting these flowers and a FedEx truck drives up. And I get this box says farm girl flowers I'm like what I didn't order these what is this open it up look at this oh my goodness I can't pull it out it's a gorgeous bouquet of flowers oh my word but who is it from there's no note it's a mystery <laughs> who could it be from I found a note <gasps> Oh my goodness, it's from Sarah. Do you guys follow Sarah at um, She Holds Dearly? Her YouTube channel is amazing. Oh my goodness, Sarah, thank you. <laughs> How cool that these came in the middle of my YouTube video. What in the world? Oh, Sarah, that was so sweet. Look how beautiful these are, you guys. Oh, they're stunning. Oh my word, Sarah, you didn't have to do that. I'm doing a devotional with her today for her class that she has with her students. She has a class where she teaches her students design and then we and then once a month she'll do a devotional with them and she asked me to be a guest speaker today. So I've got to hurry up and finish this so I can go <laughs> prepare for that devotional. But Sarah, thank you. That was so sweet. <laughs> my YouTube buddy. Oh my word. Thank you, Sarah.
Okay guys, gotta water both of these, but they're all finished and I think the colors look so charming with the shutters and the hardware. And like I said, these will fill out real nice. Just gotta give it some time. Gotta clean up the, the edge of the box here, which when I water, that'll clean up naturally. But I'm really just loving this color combination. All the blues and the purples and the whites. It's kind of the same colors I have going on in my garden once it all fills out. <laughs> Holy cow, it is so hot outside and I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> it was snowing the first week of May. I am not gonna complain about this weather. It is gorgeous, but whew, it probably would have been better to film that in the evening. Goodness gracious. Anyways, I hope these tips helped you guys. I am not a gardener. I don't consider myself someone who has a lot of know-how when it comes to gardening, planting, um, so any tips you guys want to share with me, put them in the comments. I'm sure everybody else is interested too. Um, but I've just sort of learned, I've been doing my flower boxes for, I don't know, eight years now. And um, they always fill out nicely and turn out real pretty. So I hope that, I hope that this video helped you if maybe you're new to this or you want to do something similar. And um, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thank you for all the love on my sunroom reveal. Oh my goodness. I love that space so much now. And I think that pretty much covers it for this week. So if you are new to my channel, please be sure and hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching guys. Bye-bye.